I will call it the Hopkinson Travel Disc. I mean, there is literally a phrase called reinventing the wheel. Why don't you stop me when I was trying all those other shapes that didn't work? I mean, two months on the bloody Pentagon. You must have other stuff in the pipeline, surely. Well, uh, nah, you won't be interested. You know, go on. I <laughs> got it from the library. Don't know if you've ever been to a library, but they're absolutely brilliant. They're like bookshops, but you don't have to pay for That's things. Not how a library. Anyway, so I was looking, I was reading there, I was flicking through, mostly looking at the pictures, and I noticed that all the guns had little cutlery on the end of it. But they're all knives. I mean, I could literally flip through and just stop it around a page and they would uh, the gun would have a knife on the end, which is great if you're eating steak every day, which they weren't. I mean, what what if you wanted to eat, say, a yogurt? Um, which gave me my idea. So how many of these have you, have you sold? Well, admittedly, the... British Army have stopped replying to my emails, but I sold 17 to this really quite charming warlord. And Muller Corner said they would definitely consider showing some form of interest. Brilliant. How do you come up with these ideas? When I'm inventing, my process is to use my brain to think of things that people or businesses really need. You know, like fire exit signs. It is literally law. I didn't even know this, right? It is literally law for businesses in the UK to have to have a fire exit sign. The government is cramming people into my sign shop <laughs> they're selling like wildfire <sighs> which is a relief because I also sunk a lot of money into these I just wish I had bought 10,000 of them basic level it's a solar powered car but with a difference it runs solely on fossil fuels I mean that's why they call it a solely powered car hello oh hey Matembi <laughs> yeah yeah. Blood and yogurt everywhere. Right. Well, have you kept your receipt? No. That's why I didn't give you a receipt, because I didn't want you to be able to return them. Right. Oh, really? Well, I look forward to hearing from eBay as well. Oh, Matembi, one last thing. Um, you don't want to buy a fire entrance sign, do you? Matembi? Oh, you hung up. Anyway, let me show you uh, the solar-powered car mechanics. Now we go to a man whose work could revolutionise global travel. We have Bruce Goodberg with us on the show. Now, Bruce, what do you 
call this contraption? I call it the Goodberg Transport Disc. I believe that the key factor to its commercial success is the fact that, as you can see, it has no straight edges. Wow! You must be on a pretty penny. So if you don't mind me asking, what are your projected figures? Well, in this first quarter, we have turned over over two billion dollars already. So impressive. I just don't understand how someone could come up with an idea like this. You really are one in a million. Hi guys, thanks for watching our first Wednesday video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe down there and to like the video down there. Um, and a special thanks to our patrons who helped us to buy the props for this video. Um, you can check us out on Patreon there to help us make more videos like these. Oh, and if anyone wants to buy a fire entrance sign, please do let me know in the comments. Okay. for some conjure of cheap tricks. I'm not trying to rob you. I'm trying to help you. Who's that?